or layoffs for Riverhead schools. After announcing plans to eliminate 38 faculty positions last week, the district now says they'll also be letting 18 teacher assistants go and reducing the size of their dual language program. All right, Fox 5's Jody Goldberg digging into the implications of these cuts and how they'll impact students. 18 teacher assistants will be missing from the classrooms in the Riverhead School District this coming fall, in addition to 38 faculty members and an assistant principal. We're always asked to do more with less here at Riverhead, and uh, that's going to continue next year. The district has been drastically underfunded, according to Gregory Wallace, who is the president of the Riverhead Central Faculty Association. Wallace says it's a combination of IDA tax giveaways and a lack of funding from the state over the past decade. The district is also responsible responsible for paying the tuition for students who go to this charter school. This year it cost a total of $11.6 million. That money being siphoned from here, we have to cut programs. The news of cutting programs, including dual language, which had been offered to elementary school students, angered some parents who spoke out at Wednesday night's Board of Ed meeting. Why does it sound like the district is living paycheck to paycheck? Cindy McLeod's daughter is in middle school. The ninth period has been great. They've been able to have an additional collective class, and now that they're going down eight periods, those students coming up won't have that option. For their part, the district says they're facing a fiscal cliff of nearly $20 million after adding close to 180 positions over the past years. Every cut and every reduction is going to affect someone. Georgette Lozier worries about her granddaughter's education. What opportunities is she going to miss out on? And quite frankly, all the other kids she goes to school with. Right now, the upcoming changes don't impact programs, including school clubs, music, art, and phys ed. But if the school budget doesn't pass in May. Officials do say there will at least be another $3 million in cuts. The IDA, they've kept money from us. The foundation aid, we definitely need it, and the governor is reducing that, and it's made, it's going to make a huge difference, especially next year. Parents and the union president vow to keep up the fight to make sure Riverhead receives all of the funding they're entitled to. Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.